guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some new brushes. We're going to be painting some florals. One thing I want to mention quick is that I'm not just using these new brushes that I'm sharing with you today. I'm also going to be using some of my old brushes. So definitely explore following the link in the description, the multiple different packs. I will list in the top edge of the screen which brushes I'm using as I go so that you can kind of keep track and know where we're at with that. And I will do my best to keep it as straightforward for you as possible. But I'm using a bunch of different brushes that I've made, just kind of making it up as I go along. Honestly, this is a much more realistic view into my painting process. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them. I just wanted to give you a heads up because it is a little different of a format from what I have done in the past in these videos. So let's get into it. All right, to start off, I'm working in a new paper texture and I'm gonna start sketching with the 6B pencil, which is just a native Procreate brush from their sketch panel. And I have this dark gray selected. So I'm going to start out by duplicating my painting layer a few times. And the texture that I'm working in, you can find it to download for free following the link in the description. You can find it on my website. It's called the Press Paper. So I have painting layers here and I'm gonna actually go in and add a non-painting layer just so that I know this is called something else. I'm not gonna bother renaming it, but that way I know that this is my sketch layer later on when I'm working in painting. So I'm going to start out sketching a flower. So now that I have my sketch, I am going to lower the opacity and then I'm going to be starting to work on one of my painting layers above it. So I'm gonna start off by using this brush called the Slow Build watercolor and this is just gonna give me a nice washed in fill. use the Inky Dynamo brush and I chose this one for these because I want something that's pretty solid in color.
Okay, so next I am going to go on to the layer above it, and now we're going to start painting the flowers. I will be going back to this slow build watercolor brush. And for my exit color, I'm going to be mixing in with the Floody Flow. And I'm going to be blending with the Bristly Blender. Next, I am using a dark brown and the watery hard edge brush to paint the center of the flowers. I want these two flowers to look different, so I'm changing the technique as well as the amount of color added uh, between the two. Now I'm going to add some hard edge detail. This is going to help the petals of the flowers stand out as well as increase how realistic the watercolor effect actually looks. I'm still using the watery hard edge brush to do this, but now I'm going to go over what I already painted for the flowers in the same color that I used when I initially painted it. So this is kind of a trial and error process because the more pressure that you use with this brush, the more the edges start to fade away and you can actually totally eliminate them. It's not as precise, but I'm able to get more of that happy accident look that comes when you're painting real watercolor. I'm also going in and blending some of these hard edges with the rest of the pigment using the Floody Smudge brush. Next, I'm gonna go back in to each of my layers and do a little more blending with the smudge tool and the floody smudge brush. I'm blending in the areas where I added more shading as well as where my strokes kind of overlapped that I just think need some more softening. My next step is going to be to add in some more shading. So for this, I'm gonna work on a new layer above my other painting layers, and I'm gonna go into the blend mode of this layer and change the blend mode setting to overlay. Then I'm gonna select a solid white to use as a highlight, and I'm also going to alternately go in with solid black for shading. Using the overlay setting is a really cool trick because what you paint will only show up over what is already on your layer. So this means even if you're coloring off of the edges, though you can't see it when I'm painting with the white, but you will when I'm using the black. So even if you're coloring off of the edges, you'll only see it masked through what you already have painted below. This acts as more of a dodge and burn layer where the white is more of a brightening effect and the black blends as more of a shadowy effect rather than just like a straight layer of solid pigment. This really allows for a natural tonal look and can bring out the emphasis of the colors that you've chosen without taking away from it or muddying it up. And now just as I did with the petals of the flowers, I'm gonna go in and add some watery hard edge detail to the leaves on the leaf layer using the same color that I painted them with initially. I find that this is a really nice finishing touch and helps define some of the shapes a little more precisely. I've also decided to keep my sketch layer 
visible at a really low opacity below the painting because I kind of like the definition that it's giving the painting without being too distracting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Hopefully you learned something. Leave any questions or comments that you might have. Let me know what you think of the brushes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe for more. I put up new videos weekly-ish, and so there will be more appropriate tutorials coming your way. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. Hi. Oh my goodness, you're disgusting. You are so gross.